We are going to baptize some folks now. This is unrehearsed. What these people will say is we don't have an idea, but they're just sharing their heart what the Lord has done briefly. And uh, Brother Mark Baker from Brownsville here is assisted by Brother John Stump, one of our brothers in the church. They're coming right now to baptize, and I want you to be ready to worship. When we get finished with this, we're going to praise and worship a few more minutes, and then we're going to get the service over to Brother Hill real quick. And the Lord will change your life before you leave this place. Just get focused on the Lord. God bless you. July 19th, and I didn't know what was happening, and I didn't think it was for me, but I knew I should go up to that altar, and I did, and I still didn't know what was happening, but I went, and God worked something in me, and he saved me. <laughs> told me to be baptized tonight. And Lord, I want you to break me and take all the selfishness and the greed and just everything, Father, and give me you, Father. Give me all of you. It's Patricia Stewart, and I thank God that Brownsville's Revival is here tonight. It was here last week and every night that it's been here. Through this revival, I have found God, and I praise the Lord tonight. My brother's a member here, and I came here after he invited me. And I thought I was saved when I was young. I didn't give my life to God. I know God now, and I thank him for the opportunity to serve. I praise his name. I pray that he would be with all of us, and I want to give him my entire life. Everything I do, I want it to be for God. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit, and I thank God for that, that wonderful spirit. I've shed tears. I've shed tears of pain, strife. But when I shed tears now, it's for the joy of God. I want to give God all the praise and the glory. Uh, my name is Jennifer Tickens, and I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. I thank God for delivering me from drugs. I thank God for... Yeah. I thank Him for bringing me out of darkness and putting me into this marvelous light. For He deserves all the praise and the honor. I give him all the thanks because he spared my life many times. It's my turn to give unto him and be a servant unto him. I give him all the praise and honor. I thank him. I thank him for it. I thank him. And my advice to all of you out there that's doing drugs, turn your life over to God. Let him in full control of it. I give him honor and praise. Take the advice. And run to the altar and give your life over to him. Thank you very much.
from Mobile, Alabama. I like to say I was an addict at one time, and if it hadn't been for the Lord, I don't know where would I be. The Lord has truly blessed me because I once was lost, but now I'm found. Ooh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Stacy Liddell, and I'm from West Wego, Louisiana. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God has delivered me from alcohol and drugs. Oh. <laughs> Boy, if I'd have known this. <laughs> I just thank him for taking me from the path of darkness into his light. Boy, what a light he's got on right now. <laughs> Praise God. I'm Stacy Scott, and I've been saved for three and a half weeks. Yeah. Um, I go to Indiana University, and um, a couple weeks ago, um, John Michael Kilpatrick and, and Allison and Elizabeth came to visit us, and um, I had watched the video um, a couple weeks before. Um, they'd come, I went home to visit with my family, and my mom made me watch it. <laughs> um, 
I have been in church all my life. I have been raised in church. I went to a Christian school. And, and when they were given their testimonies, everything their life was about, was, it was me. That was me. You know, I was in all the party. And I didn't want anything of what God had to do. I wanted the world. And then that night, he changed my life around. He changed it around. I will never, ever be the same person ever, ever, ever again, ever again. And from my step of faith, I walked 15 minutes all by myself to where they were talking. God drew me there. He drew me there. He set me right behind those three people. He set me behind them. I always sat in the back pew of the church. I always sat in the back pew, and I couldn't wait to get out and go get my lunch. But God set me right behind them, and he drew me down to the altar, and he changed me. My life will never be the same, and my friends have been touched. They're getting saved. People are coming to God all because I heard a step of faith. And I know now I have the best feeling ever. If I was to die tonight, I know I would go to heaven. I would be with him. I would be with him. I know it. I know it. Thank you. Thank you. According to your profession of faith, we baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. My name is Stacy Kinderman, and I'm a member here at Brownsville. And I moved down here in last June. I teach second grade. Yes. I promise I don't do this all the time in class. I'm on the prayer team here, and you may have seen my face before. But I want to tell you that Satan can attack you whether you're on the prayer team or whether you come here once a week or twice a week. He's not looking for status. He's looking for to take you away from Jesus. Yeah. And I stand here telling you that he can't take me. God started calling me out, and I started praying for people. And as soon as I started doing things for the Lord, things around my life started to crash. My roommate moved out. I had to move to a different place. I felt all alone. Things started happening at work that were troublesome. I had problems with the guy I was seeing. Everything just seemed to be falling apart. And Satan tried to come in with fear. I battled fear almost all my life. But he set me free when I started coming here from it. And I've never had to deal with it. And this weekend I battled it like I've never battled it before. But I'm victorious right here before you tonight. And on the way home... My parents live in Birmingham on the way home today. I was listening to Steve Hill's message about how, on his testimony, on the very back of that tape, there was a song, and I was there for that message, and it was Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound. And it rang in my car, and I was shaking all the way down the highway, and my God has set me free. Thank you, Jesus.
Hello, hi, my name is Annette Sinclair. I just want to thank you, Jesus. You have brought me out of darkness into lightness. <laughs> Amen. Hi, my name's Tina McKenzie, and um, I actually was prayed in here by some very special people. Um, all I can say is Jesus is good. God is good. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ, and I'm so happy to be here and be a part of your life. Drugs and alcohol have been a part of my life and everything that goes along with it. And I love you, and you've forgiven me, and I thank you for that. This is according to your confession of faith, we baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. My name is Lisa Bradley. I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida. I was saved when I was eight. I attended a Pentecostal holiness church. When I became a teenager, I ran after things of this world. But when I had my first child, I wanted to get back to God. So I did, and I was baptized. But no one told me I had to change. I came here in June. My mom's on the prayer team. I've not been the same since. Yes. Hello. <laughs> my, my brother and his wife, their marriage has been healed. They've been changed. But my husband, it took him a little while longer. He just spent three weeks here and has been delivered from alcohol and drugs for 18 years. Thank you, Lord. My name is Crystal Barker. I'm from Texas. And <laughs> I didn't want God to save me because I didn't want to change. So, but last night, because I just told everybody that I was saved because I wanted my fam family to be proud of me. But last night, I came down to this altar and God saved me. And now all I want is more. <laughs> Lisa, and I just want to thank the Lord for everything he's done in my life. Sister, according to your profession of faith, we baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I'm Kathy Sales. I'm from Richfield, North Carolina. And all my life, I've heard about Jesus. I was here in September, 
and I met Yeshua. And Pastor Kilpatrick prayed for me. And while I was down, I saw Jesus on the cross. And he was beaten and he was bleeding. And he looked down at me with more love in his eyes than I've ever seen in a human being. And I just want to say to everybody here, who else do you know that would die for you? Would your mother, would your father, would your husband, would your wife, would any one of them go through that for you? And how could you turn your back on them? And if you could ever see the love that I saw that night in his eyes, and you would ever feel that love, and you could understand that if we ever felt that love that he feels for us, that's the way that he wants us to love each other. And I just want to say that I dedicate my life tonight to my sweet Yeshua. I do this for the blood of the Lamb. is Shirley Zimbeck and I'm from Jasper, Texas. And I always thought you could have your feet in both worlds and you can't. And today I'm going to let go of that world forever. And I'm going to forget it. And I was sexually abused when I was a child and I'm going to forget that. I'm going to come up clean and I won't have memories of that anymore. Debbie Chris, um, I th I've got so much to be thankful for. God has done so many wonderful things. And the best thing, I mean, you just don't know. Things come against us that we can't see. And there are things out there that's trying to keep you from him and his love. He loves us so much. And he's, if we just need to turn to him, something's trying to lie to us to keep us from that love and Lord he, did he saved me a wretch like me oh you just don't know and I can never thank him enough but we came to this revival back in October our marriage was in shambles I mean shambles and everything we were just torn apart God the first night we were here there was a healing prayer and uh, he said, there, he said, curse cancer in the name of Jesus and back vertebrae problems. And there was a number of things they were praying for. And all of a sudden, the pastor said, there's someone here. And on your right arm, there's a spot. And, and it was good. God's healing path. I'll watch that spot disappear. And he said, my husband and I said, Tony, it's me. And I, my husband, it was just like a faith builder like this. God is so real. Don't put him in a box. Open your heart. <laughs> Open your heart. Let him in. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.
My name's Tony Crisp, and I'm from uh, Turtletown, Tennessee. This is my wife that was just baptized. I, I had become an abusive husband, a jealous husband. I had a major problem. Ten months I went through counseling, trying to get help, seeking help. We tried everything in the world, and counselors couldn't do anything. We're on the verge of separation. And, I, you know, we, we were lucky because we had a very godly counselor, which really believed in the power of God and what God can do. And he allowed us to get down here. And, you know, God got a hold of me one Friday night in the altar there, and I was just really pouring out my heart to God and just letting him know just how dirty I was and just how wrong I was. And many times I sat on a church pew, and just like a lot of people, and, you know, been in church. But that, that particular night, God got a hold of me, and he turned my life around. I was backslidden, and I was nowhere near where I needed to be with God. And God gave me a new fire in my heart for him, you know. <laughs> But there are a lot of people out there who have marriages and family. Love is the greatest gift of God that we could ever have. You know, His love is the greatest love, but the love of a marriage is something that He gives. It's not something that we're worthy of. It's a gift of Him. And when He gives that gift, we need to be respectful of that gift. And we need to honor our husbands and our wives. And we need to respect them for what they are, just as His Word says. We're to honor them just as, just as the church, just as Jesus honors the church. His Word tells us what we need to do. We need to stand His Word and learn His Word, and He will teach us. And I just thank God that He forgave me and that He turned me around and He cleansed me. Yes. My name is Clark Lynn Jr. from Mobile, Alabama. Uh, the Lord had healed me from drugs, alcohol, uh, lived a life of crime. I would head back to prison, but the Lord seemed to guide me this way, in this direction to New Hope Home, a home of where miracles are made, and I'm one of those miracles tonight. I'd just like to thank the Lord. I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I like for the Lord to wash me, wash all my niggas away and clean me of my sins. Renew me, Lord, with a new heart in your name. I pray, amen. amen. My name is Randy Marlowe. I live here in Pensacola. My wife has been coming to this revival ever since the day it started. She's been telling me how wonderful it is and how wonderful it is to know Jesus Christ, and I just couldn't accept that in my life. I had sunk so low that I didn't know if there was a way up. I asked Jesus to help me, and he showed me the way. And I thank God that Jesus can love a sinner like me and can show me the way, and I want to live my life for Jesus. And I want to live in His glory, and I want to live that, and I want my family to be a, a strong family once again. We have gotten so far away from that that uh, it's hard to find a way back. So please, I just pray that, that God will help my family just stay together and show me, show me the way. Thank you.
Son, and Holy Spirit. Uh, my name is Stacy, and I'm from Texas. I want to thank God for saving me from drugs and alcohol. But, but most important, for delivering me from one thing that my even my family didn't even know. I stand before you now, a Christian and an ex-gang member. I want to thank God. Thank you. Thank you.
Oh, <laughs> 